Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Reverend Dr. Wayne M. Weathers. Um, I am extremely upset. Um, upset is not even the word that I can use right now, but I need to remain spiritual and I need your assistance. I really need your help. I am, excuse the expression, pissed off right now. I just got a call from my daughter, my youngest daughter, who is 18 going on 19. Um, she just called me in tears. Um, she just called me in tears from um, Florida. She just came from a student exchange in, from Jamaica. She's going through the check, she's going through security and she got flagged, which is common. She got flagged. So as she's getting flagged, they take her to the side. Not only did they take out all of her stuff and tra you know, throw it all over the place like she got drugs or something in her bag, they take a knife and cut her book bag searching for drugs. And so they took all of her stuff out her book bag, claimed that it was trash. And my daughter is starting to question them. This is in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, as she's traveling back from Jamaica with Spirit Airline. She started questioning them and the police is involved. Why are you doing this to my stuff? The police barricades the door and tell my daughter, you're gonna clean this stuff up before you leave. My daughter told him point blank, you're not making any of the other folks clean their stuff up. Why are you doing this to me? So what they did was they literally told my freaking night 18 year old daughter, you're not leaving out of here until you clean this mess up and threaten to arrest my 18 year old daughter. This is not a hoax. So as my daughter is breaking down crying, asking the police, why are you doing this to me? They're telling her you're talking back to me and we can arrest you. My daughter's like, why are you going to arrest me? What is it that I've done? I haven't done anything. Here's the kicker, which got me in rage right now. As my daughter in tears, they're treating her like a freaking mammy. As my daughter is in tears, the, um, she's picking up the trash. And here it is, the police officer who brings the trash container to my daughter purposefully steps back and causes the trash to drop on the floor. And then they're talking about arresting my youngest daughter again as they allegedly pulled the trash container back in order causing the trash to fall back on the floor again. So now my daughter now is in, and she's in tears. She's in trauma. She is uh, mentally jacked up for what these police officers did to her in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, in the airport. Um, and so my daughter's right now is in sense. My wife is driving home from an event right now and she is enraged and I'm enraged. Let me share something with y'all. This is not a hoax. We watch this stuff on the news day in and day out. And as a parent, you never think that the day is going to happen when it's going to happen to one of your kids. Not that it can't happen, but you're wondering one day, Lord, please don't let this happen to one of my children. And it happened to mine. Here it is, the police officers, freaking renegades, renegades. That's what they are, renegades. And I tell you this, they better be lucky that I wasn't there. Because I would have lost it and I would have been in jail right now because nobody has a right to do that to my child or anybody else's child. All police officers aren't bad, but you got some jacked up racist ones that will take advantage of anybody and everybody they get their hands on. And this got to stop. I see this stuff day in and day out and I get concerned when is it going to happen to one of my children. My daughter is traumatized right now in the Fort Lauderdale airport waiting to get a plane back to Atlanta, Georgia after having a positive, productive time in Jamaica, uh, Kingston, Jamaica, where she was working with children, children in Jamaica, receiving her calling, said that this is what she want to do, travel internationally to help children out who are impoverished and to make a difference in their life. And for her, I understand you can, you can get flagged at any moment. 
I understand that process. But for police officers, jacked up cops with guns, punks with badges, and let me say it again, punks with badges, going to sit up here and barricade the door and threaten to arrest my daughter if she don't clean the trash up. Like she's some type of mammy, like she's some type of slave. This has got to stop. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all mess with the wrong one. You mess with the wrong one. Because somebody who knows people in politics now is getting ready to raise their prophetic voice and say, you mess with the wrong daughter. You got to watch who you're messing with. So I'm asking everybody, please allow this particular video to go viral. We needed to get to Washington, D.C. We need to get to our representatives here, not only in Pennsylvania, not only in South Jersey, but to get to Atlanta, Georgia as well. My wife is already going to work the networks at Clark Atlanta University to get in contact with the interim president to understand, let him know that this happened to not only a Clark, a, excuse me, a Clark Atlanta University student, but it happened to a Clark Atlanta University 3.6 National Honor Leadership uh, Society student. It happened to one of them as she was sacrificing her spring break in order to make a difference in somebody else's life. So what I need your help today Everybody who sees this video, let's make this video go viral. My daughter right now is traumatized. And she asked him, why are you picking on me? And she said, point blank, there were uh, uh, white, um, of white folks in the room who had to go through the same thing that they went through. They pulled their trash out of their stuff and never said, you need to clean your trash up. My daughter is a human being. She's not a second class citizen. And this stuff that's happening from the 